Hi guys! Vex here! Welcome to a new Space Engineers series. Welcome to Davian Shipyard. This is going to be a companion series to my Surv uh, Space Engineers Survival series. And this is my creative mode world featuring things I make and publish to the Steam Workshop. Uh... I think I'll kick off my first episode of Davian Shipyard with the space station I made, and as of now, I'm attempting to make in my survival world. This is a Davian Navy station. I got it here uh, already saved as a blueprint. It's ready to be published. I figure I'll just give you a tour and show it off. I I think it's a good all-around multi-purpose station. Uh, my only complaint is maybe it's a little hard to construct from the blueprint, although I certainly use the Twin Welders mod. It makes things a lot easier. So let's start with the first thing you see, the exterior of the station. It has two, four, six, eight. It has nine turrets to protect it from meteors it ought to be able to exist outside during meteor showers and be reasonably okay uh, and the media uh, the gun turrets and the associated conveyor system are all armored up I uh, used light armor because meteor impacts don't seem to be overly destructive anymore to uh, light armor uh, they'll typically kill one block and then that's it. Uh, so I didn't think heavy armor uh, would be that required. And if the station was made all out of heavy armor, the cost in survival would go through the roof. And it's already a very large station. And I think a uh, little on the pricey side already. Uh, but here it's got... On the bottom and top side here, we've got a, do a docking area for very large ships to come in and have room to uh, connect up. And then on the, the other side here, we have room for small ships and smaller large class ships, you know, uh, to come in and dock. So that's a total of what? Three, six... 7, 14, 17, 20, I think, connectors on the outside. It's got 20 connectors for ships to come in and, uh, and dock. Uh, and then on the underside here, you can see uh, that's the engineering bay. And I have glass all around it so that you can look out. And I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, would be a nice station to just walk around on. So let's come down here, turn the jetpack off, and walk around. So the first superstructure you see here features a lot of glass. Let's come in. And on the inside, it's nice made it so you can look out and look at all the stuff. And it features all the basics you'd expect to have in a station. Uh, it's got medical bays. It's actually got two. Uh, along with storage not connected to the conveyor system uh, to make it easy for you to just store stuff. This is mostly intended as a gun locker for rifles and ammunition. Uh, you know what? Why don't we... There we go. I want to make sure I'm a nice red color. Uh, it's got plenty of passenger seats all over the place so you can quickly recharge your energy. Uh, and then here are the uh, control consoles for the station. And then going upwards through the glass superstructure is the conveyor to feed the top mounted Gatling cannon up there. Which is also armored. Uh, and then on the inside here, wrapped up to keep it concealed, just to mostly to keep that light from blinding you in the face, uh, is a beacon and an antenna. Uh, antenna is powered off by default. Alright, so that's the superstructure. It's got the control terminals and the medical bays. Uh, lots of exits intended to be as a 
a hub for multiple players to come in and out. I kind of intended this to be a cheaper to build maybe civilian grade outpost. Uh, a military outpost would be Hmm. It would be it would have much less glass and it would it would use heavy armor in the construction and it would be much more resistant to attacks than this. This is maybe uh just like a plain old normal station not intended for hostile environments and therefore should be a little on the cheaper side to build. Anyway, uh and this right here in the middle just gives you access to the conveyor system from the main floor. That's all the containers for. So you go down, uh, there's ramps down that go down here. Uh, down here is the engineering deck. And this has a large, very compact, I tried to make it take up as little space as possible, uh, compact array of refineries and assemblers and arc furnaces. You can come down here. It says blast furnace on here, and then I think on here it says arc furnace, right? Yeah, arc furnace, and then this says blast furnace. So, um, I'm going to call it an arc furnace, because that's what it's called in the menu. Alright, and it does have ten batteries as well as a backup. I'm not sure how long those would last, but I figured it's good to have. Uh, so here's the engineering area. You can see all the refineries, all the conveyor systems, and the assemblers. And the superstructure here that leads back up uh, to the main deck. And the lights in the engineering area, I've tinted them a nice golden color compared to the lights up in the main level are uh, pure white. Um, I thought that would be a cool distinction that the engineering level's got yellow lights for, you know, engineering. Come down here, and I used catwalks to try to keep you from falling off. And then down here in the heart of the station towards the bottom is the main reactor. Uh, which you can access from this ramp here. I like that you can use sloped armor blocks as a ramp in case you don't want to actually use uh, the real thing, the actual ramp item. Alright. And uh, the gravity generators are down here on this level as well. Uh, there's one in each corner and uh, that extends gravity all over the station and each one only projects at about 0.2 G's. Uh, the main result being that where they overlap you get 0.8, which is a good gravity, I think. You're less likely to injure yourself in 0.8 Gs. Uh, as far as storage, it has four large cargo containers, which I think ought to be quite sufficient for most uses. If you really, really wanted to, it would be trivial to just put down two more stuck on the ends here right here, uh, if you really wanted to do that, and add more storage. But, uh, in my survival world, I ground down the Lacadaemon, uh, which was a huge, very heavy ship, and m it fit mostly within one large cargo container, all the uh, components of it. So I feel that four ought to hold uh, quite a copious amount of material. Uh, here you can walk around, and I've got glass catwalks here that you can walk over and look down to the reactor level down there and see that. And then walk back over here. And uh, that's it. I think I think I've shown off everything. Uh, yeah, main level, main level, engineering level. Like I said, it's not got, I don't think it's got too many frills on it. However, I'm interested in making a, like, the thing is, all the glass, it looks really cool, but in survival, these are all just more parts that you'd have to go get and mine up or uh, capture. So I'm kind of, I'm very interested in a completely practical station uh, without all these, because uh, this is, this is a, I think this is um, in the middle, I would say, between practical and cool. Uh, I really like the decorative aspect 
and being able to look out at all this cool stuff. My favorite thing, actually, is down here. I have, uh, like, things like these catwalks. You don't really need them. They just make the station feel, like, look cooler, I guess. But it's just, uh, like, a catwalk is yet more resources. I mean, what do these take? Yeah, look at that. 30 metal grids, 25 steel tubes. I mean, this just drives up the resource cost of the station. Uh, and you don't really need that stuff. But just sitting, uh, sitting in the chairs here and looking out into space through the windows. I just think it's a really nice view. Uh, but also I think the station looks pretty cool too. Lots of glass, very open, uh, not very claustrophobic at all. Uh, lots of wide open areas. Uh, but I kind of I kind of like that. It feels very roomy. And there's lots of room to run around and look at stuff. Uh, I didn't put solar panels on it because, as for a blueprint, I did not want to commit to one direction because the sun is always going to be... Uh, I, I basically wanted people using the blueprint to be able to orient the station however they wanted. And once you've got it in place, then you build your solar panels. Uh, that's why I left this two block wide band uh, around here. It's so that whatever side happens to be oriented towards the sun, then you just come in and plaster solar panels all along this two block stretch here. Uh, you can also put them down here too if you want to take the lights off. I, I don't think I would though. And I'm actually filming this episode during a thunderstorm where I live, and I think it might actually be hailing outside right now. I'm hearing like thumping on the roof. That's kind of cool. Uh, if you also wanted to, you can come in and put solar panels across here uh, for practicality if you uh, wanted to. Uh, left it wide enough. Well, that is the Davian Navy Station. Uh, just plain old uh, basic space station. I want to make one with absolute practicality in mind. Without all the... Uh, cool stuff. I mean, the stuff for appearances and, and looks and stuff like that. I want I want a very practical station for survival. So I think I'll work on that next episode. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Davian Navy Station. Feel free to use it in your own world. Get together with your friends and run around on it. Uh, I will be uploading it to the workshop uh, right now. Go ahead and upload it for you guys. Live on camera. Uh, where is it? There it is. Mobile station. Details. Publish. Yep. Does it use any modded blocks? I don't think so. Uh, exploration lets it be known that you think that this thing might be good for uh, a natural station. Uh, here we go. Something that might be naturally generated as you explore, so I think that I think this would be a cool candidate. It has it certainly has enough firepower on it to drive away intruders. Uh, I mean, the finding this would be really cool in single player. You just roll up on this randomly while you're exploring your world. Uh, but anyway, I'll take a break now. And I'll see you guys next episode where we work on a practical station for survival. Uh, and I think I want it ease of ease of construction. Keep that in mind too. But this is Vex reporting from the Davian Navy shipyard, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, take it easy. <laughs>